Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So you guys are always emailing me asking uh, for different projects that I do, art journal pages and whatnot. So it's very expensive to mail out. Um, I think the last, I did a contest, I think in November or December, it was for fabric paints or something to that effect. And uh, it's just very expensive. So I thought what I would do is just come on, do a video of me making a um, mixed media background. And I would use just some watercolor paper, which I can fit into a uh, mailer easy enough and not a big box or anything at the moment. And um, yeah, so I'll just come on and just do a page. So it's going to be mixed media, obviously. And then uh, at the end, I want to show you guys something that I've been working on with the uh, new Mod Podge Ultra. This is in gloss. It is also in matte and it is also fantastic. Um, I won't be using it on this today, but you could. Uh, but I will show you at the end because I know you guys get, I always get yelled at like, just start your prom. We don't want to see what you've been working on. So I know some of you do. So <laughs> stay tuned till the end. So I've been in a darker mood lately. So let's see what papers I have here and what I'm going to start with. I'm going to build up the background and then I don't know what I'm going to put on it. Um, oh my, I didn't even see that. That's really great. All those colors. Let me move back a little bit. All these colors, huh? I might rip this apart. I don't know. We'll just pick a couple. Okay. Okay. Apparently, we're going to use this because I have three of them here. Why? I have no idea. So when I do mixed media, okay, <laughs> three, this must have been a package or something. What did, what on earth? Um, you know, I'm a mixed media artist and I love mixed media and mixed media. Basically, I know a lot of you are new um, and new to my channel. Hello, you guys. I am uh, growing by the day. I passed 4 million subscribers um the end of last week i believe and now i'm like up to four million twelve thousand subscribers like within a, like a, i mean it's crazy so um i'm very blessed very thrilled very happy and so i want to welcome all of you very quickly to my channel and i know a lot of you are new so if you guys are, are old school with me and you get bored i apologize but you know when people are new and stuff i just I don't know. I just like to start over. Now I'm going to save this because we might do, I don't know, a little journal. I don't know what I'm going to do on it. Maybe right. Okay. And then on the back is this polka dot. And this is the paper itself. Because you know me, I'm like, oh girl, why'd you pick that? But I did because it's that. So I think that's where we're going to start because I has much selections. So I'm going to lay that there for now and i'm gonna start gluing so i just have a, a big brush this is a flat one and a half uh from plaid from folk art i love these i have them um but obvious honestly you can go to your dollar store or even to your craft store and get foam brushes they work fantastic for this kind of stuff and you can even use it for um using on paint and stuff and if your kids you want your kids to be involved um why not you know all right so i'm just gonna this is what i do i rip and what i like to do is i like to go to the art and craft store ac moore michaels joanne's hobby lobby um where else there is i don't i think that's it right and um, i go in their clearance section and when i go into their clearance section they have like for now they'll probably have uh holiday stuff and all and i've used it before i've done it before uh use them because when you see us build up our background you will um then see why it really doesn't matter just pick what's on clearance they're sometimes five cents ten cents get a couple it's fantastic um, and I will have a video coming up on how to transform pages that you don't like, scrapbook pages. Uh, I've done it before, but I shall do it again. And yeah, so let me see, maybe I'll go smaller. But yeah, definitely, um, you know, you just want to go for it. You see what I'm doing? I just ripped. I'm using Mod Podge Matte because it is my favorite. Uh, they also have, which is my favorite, but I'm using this because I know a lot of you have 
uh, something similar and don't want to go out and buy, but Mod Podge paper, fantastic. Um, some of you in different areas where it's a little bit more humid, you guys say that you get a little stickiness with your Mod Podge mat and they have a Mod Podge paper, which I do not have sitting here at the moment, um, but must be behind me. It is fantastic. But for this, we are just going in. And you can see, I'm just, this is the fun part. And this is, I always say it, but this is fun to do with kids because they can use a glue stick if you don't want them to use glue or, um, you know, white school glue will work. Just know that it's not, please, please, good gods, please don't, don't email me or tell me about the white school glue. Oh, that's one of the big things I get a lot of emails about because I'm like, look, Use white school glue. I water it down with a little bit of water. Uh, when you don't have anything else and you want to create, just know it's not going to be archival. I don't know how many years it lives. I don't know what area you're in. Is it going to retain moisture? It turns yellow. If you don't let it fully dry, uh, I can go on and on. But, you know, do you. <laughs> do what you have and don't be ashamed and experiment. That is the biggest thing. The worst thing you can do is not do it because you don't have a ton of money because otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here because I don't have a ton of money. So I use, you know, especially in the beginning, I use what I had. Now what this is doing is I'm building up a mixed media background, but I'm also using, um, now you can use printer paper. You can use, this is a uh, sketchbook paper or water, not water. It's not water, mixed media paper, but use, you know, what you have. And when you're pulling, um, when you're putting all this paper and layers on top, which is what we're doing, you're also building up the strength of that paper. So you could put it in a dollar store frame, go get a dollar store frame and um, you can paint it. You can, you know, put glue down on it and white school glue or Mod Podge and sprinkle tons of glitter on it to change it up. So if you don't like the color, you can do whatever. And then you can put this in there. Walmart also, if, if you're a dollar store, we have dollar trees and you can layer on top. See how I'm doing? I'm just going to layer it. Um, and I might go back and pick up more of uh, the same shades because they're going to peep through. Do you know what I'm saying? They're going to peep. Some of them are going to peep. I don't know what color I'm going to do on top, but I don't know. Maybe I'll want some of this to peep through. Just don't be afraid. This is for beginners and, you know, oh, I love this. Okay. I don't know. See, I, see this, see this cute little thing here. It's a stamp. It's upside down, but it's pointing. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to please pray to my gods that I don't rip that out because me, I'll go rip it out. And it doesn't matter how the thicker, when you're doing mixed media like this, the thicker the paper doesn't always mean better. So when you go and you find maybe cheaper paper on sale, um, you can, you know, of course buy it because you're just gluing it down and it, you know, it's a little easier to stay glued. I have on my Etsy, I'll link it down below. So self-promotion there. Um, for $4, I have handmade papers that I made. I have two different uh, packs at the moment. And what you do is they're $4 for 10 different pages and you buy them, you download them in a PDF and they're yours. So you print them out on your printer or you could download them to a, um, oh, geez, oh, Pete's, what are they called? Where you save them. I need my daughter. flash drive hard flash drive thing that you save on USB thing and you save it on there. You can take it to your local uh, staples or some Walmarts do it, whatever. And you can get them printed out on inkjet. If you want, I'm going to turn this over. So, you know, and you can get them all printed out very inexpensively, or like I said, do it on your own and then they're yours to keep. So you can use them whatever way you want. So you'll always have, um, you know, you'll have different pages to use and they're four bucks for 10. You can't beat it you know, go check it out. I'm going to have a lot new uh, stuff up on my Etsy coming up. Very excited. I've been working very hard to get some new jewelry and stuff done and up and, you know, now don't get nervous if your paper buckles. It's not a big deal. It'll go back down. I'll show you a trick. 
but I'm not going to worry about it too much because once this dries and all, it'll be good to go. And if you're layering it on top of something else, make sure you have glue down. And like I said, you can use a glue stick. The kids can do this and use a glue stick. Let me tell you, let me show you. Well, I'll show you in the next once I get these papers down, what I'm going to use next. And I'll tell you all kinds of different cheap tips because I do enjoy the cheap, cheap, cheaps. I wish our thrift store near us had, um, I'm going to go this way, had more papers and uh, more craft stuff. Mine doesn't have that. So there's really not much, um, uh, you know, like older stuff. Now there's books, which I love some books to rip apart, but um, you know, so sometimes I'll get those. Now this has a lot of interest. So, you know, you might look at it in the beginning and say, ugh. But no, this has a lot of interest. You see this too? Look for things like this, because this is going to be great. Don't accidentally rip that out off like I might or might not do. We never know with me. But you get, you know, if you can find these, sometimes you can't. It's not a big deal. But um, if you can find double-sided, it just gives you some extra, you know, where you feel like you're, you're getting something good. And I'm going to start up in this corner and just... I don't necessarily like laying them straight, like, so they look. And I'm working on a non-stick uh, craft mat, which you can find at any of your arts or craft stores. But, look, you don't have the money and you need to work on your kitchen table, which I still do on my kitchen table. I drive my family nuts. And when I do art quilts, I set up... <laughs> I make Dave take our normal kitchen table downstairs and I bring up my big card table, like the big plastic one that folds. And I'll put my, I did it last year at Christmas because I made some art quilts. Um, but I'll have my sewing machine and my iron and, oh God, it's a mess. So, I mean, you do where you got to do. Take some um, brown package paper. You can also get it at the dollar store. Uh, just regular brown package paper or your Home Depot, wherever you're at. Or, you know what else is great? Newspaper. <laughs> wax paper go to the dollar store get a roll of wax paper and some um clear tape or masking tape and tape it down oh the stuff that you can use don't get discouraged because you can do it and like i said get the kids involved it just gives them something else to do i love that my uh daughter loves to journal now she hasn't done much lately because with work and she's been having other issues um, and thank you everybody for all your advice on the vlog I did the other day, um, with the hormone issues and all, I am going to pass it along to her, but she's just been, you know, between work and then coming home and being exhausted and dealing with female hormone issues and stuff and not finding any relief. She hasn't, uh been journaling or doing, you know, a lot lately, but she's so good at drawing and journaling. And my husband is too, and they're fantastic writers and, you know, so I love, my point is I loved when she was younger and would color and, and draw a little bit more than she does. My nephew now, um, my sister, you know, does art with him or if we, excuse me, we go down, you know, and we'll try to do art with him. I mean, he's going to be sick. So his patience and, uh, you know, sitting still doing one thing for too long isn't, uh, isn't fully developed yet, but I love coloring with him. And so does Emily. So we try, uh, a lot to, you know, do what we can do what we can, but he's a little boy. He's definitely a boy. He enjoys the superheroes and the, him and Dave will sit and do Legos and build things and do all kinds of fun stuff. I don't know about that one yet. I'm going to hold off on that. Let's see what we got here. Now, something like this, a paper that you would find like this, you see you get all this deliciousness that you can cut uh, or tear or whatever you want. Can you cut it? Of course you can. Can you cut it? Yes, we can. All right. So I'm just going to tear it. You can do it whatever way you want. Again, you can get scissors from your dollar store. If you have an extra five bucks, go to the dollar store. You can find... Uh, your white school glue and scissors and some papers. And uh, you know what else is great? Poster board that you can get there. Oh, and cut it down for ATCs or, um, you know, just to work on. This is like an 8 by 11 piece, I think. So, yeah, you can do a lot. 
Actually, I'm just going to lay this here. And you see, I like these white edges and they will pick up some paint and that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? And if you can see here, let me just show you, because I know people get nervous, like, oh, mine's bubbling. But, you know, you can't see everything on mine. Maybe this, no, you can't. Um, it's bubbling a little bit. Here, that's a little bit better. And that's okay. I don't care. Um, you know, I just go like this because <laughs> I don't care. It's my background. Who cares? Now, this I really like, but I think I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to save this for later when I go to do another uh, layer. And then I'm just going to lay this here and do this. Yeah, and AC Moore, Michaels, all them, they also have dollar. Uh, all right, so we have this dark shade for one of these. Huh. Let's do like this. Well, red's going to be, I mean, if this was for me, I would do red because I'm I'm just like that. But I think I'm going to stick with the blues. Okay. Why did I save this sitting here? I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you can do these smaller if you want. Like if you're like, Oh, you know what? Sometimes I just don't have patience. So that's not even small. You can even do it smaller, you know, or if you watching your grandkids or your kids and they're small, have them rip the papers off. Who doesn't like to rip papers unless you have to rip them up to recycle. And you got a lot of bills that you just want to rip up or not rip up, but you know what I mean? Get rid of private information. And then it's like two hours in and it's like, this is no fun no more, but I don't want nobody to steal my identity, but maybe somebody can steal my identity, <laughs> make my life more interesting. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I have a very interesting life here in New Jersey. Okay. Okay. Oh no, she put two colors near each other. It doesn't matter. Um, all right. And I'm okay. You want some of that white, some of that background showing. If you don't want white, like if you're like, oh no, because some people get nervous over a white, like white background. They're like, oh my gosh, this like, it scares me. I don't know what to do with it. This is a great way to conquer that fear. Um, if you're like, wanting to throw a color down or you want your background a different color paint it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It is all up to you. Maybe you only have 20 minutes to, you know, maybe, I don't know, you have 20 minutes to do this. So you just want to do this layer first because what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I will come back and I will go on to my next layer. Now you see, I'm just kind of like this. This is why I like working on a craft mat or something that's not going to ruin whatever's underneath, even though this desk is ruined and it's a, you know, that kind of thing. And you can go over everything, you know, if you see any edges or whatever. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do. I might, let me turn this this way and it's already getting weight to it. So like I said, if the paper's thin, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe it this way and you see, I ripped it and you get that nice edge. Um, so you want to, whatever way you want the, uh, I call it the fuzzy part that ripped edge to be, you want to do the opposite side to so turn it over, take it, start ripping it. See, and then you, you get both, you get this and then you get this and you could do it. again and you get this great little edge and I'll just put it here on me a little bit more of a uh, structure there there we go maybe maybe we'll just do a little dark piece here That'll be our little, my little contribution. And I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to do much more. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of this on the corner. And I'm all, this is only to add because I know I'll be mailing it. And I'm going to add a little bit, as much, you know, structure and strength as I can. So it's not, you know, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. So I'm going to put, you want to put your, uh, whatever you're using, if you're using a sponge brush, I, I've been known to take my sponge brushes and put them in water, go rinse them out, let them dry, use them again and again and again. It's, uh, don't leave them soak in your water, which I've done and ruined too, because then the wood handles, you know, they swell up and then it's not good. So I have this now. I can go in and I can dry this with my heat gun if I want or my hair dryer. I'm going to let it, um, just going to let it dry naturally. And then we will come back and I'll show you what we're going to do next. But grab a couple colors of paint that you like, light colors. We're going to go light to dark and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so you can see we're dry. And it's still a little, you know, I'm not worried about it because like I said, we'll be, we'll be doing more on top of it. But so now we're going to add a little bit. So now decide what color you want your background to be. So we're going to go light to dark. I'm going to start with, I have yellow, orange, green. So I'm going to lay these here and decide. This one's probably a little bit too dark. These are Martha Stewart. I also have some. Uh, ceram coat and uh, what else? Folk arts in here. So I just grabbed colors that I liked. And I think maybe I'll just start with the yellow. I want to give it like that. Again, you can use your brush. You can use a foam, you know, a makeup sponge, any kind of foam that you have. You can use a credit card and scrape it like an old credit card. Let me show you. You can tell this is very well used. And what you do is let's say we want, we'll just put a little ploop here, a little ploop here. That's where we'll start. I'll use this first and I'll just take this and I just scrape as you can see. And then people are going to be like, going nuts and they're like making me crazy. And then I just scrape it over everything. You see, I didn't use too much. Now, I want to show you something that I love is the texture it's creating because it's so, like, you know, well used. Okay, you can use your old debit card, whatever you have, old library card. I take gift cards when I, after I use them, they're like, you know, do you want this or do you want this? I'm like, I take it. I take it. Okay. So, do you want more? I like to turn my page whatever I'm working on like that. And maybe I want a little bit more here. Go on you. You see why it's important to have your stuff dry underneath because, and some dry paint on there <laughs> because, um, and I'm pushing down just to get a little bit off of it because you're scraping and you can lift up the paint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun or your hair dryer. Like I said, go to your local thrift store and I'm going to dry this for the most part because if I have a little bit of, um, mixage, as long as it doesn't turn poopy brown, which it could, you know, I'm okay. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. So if I take a little red, for instance, and I say, oh, you know, it's a little yellow here. So let me just put a little bit there. And then I take and I scrape. If it's wet anywhere, oh, I must have dried it real good. You will see it. You see how I'm trying to make it as transparent as possible at the moment. But anyway, if your yellow's a little bit wet, it will turn a little bit orange. And that's fine because it's a great color. I'm going to show you. These are little things that I love. Do you see, <laughs> see how the red's on the yellow and it's scraping on the edges? I love this. So we're going to keep going and... Um, 
What are the colors? What are the colors? Now look, we have the red right there. So I'm going to take a little gesso. You can use white as well. Um, whatever you have. I'm going to squeeze a little bit here and just little dots there. And maybe you it's too dark for you. So just kind of, like I said, turn your page, turn your hand. Making a little bit of pink. See, we're just kind of lighting it a little bit. And I'll just go back and forth. You can also just scrape, add some more texture up to you for now. Okay, so I'm going to dry this. And you can, of course, use white. I just have my gesso sitting here. Okay, so let me talk about a few things before I move on. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, up real time and then I will speed it up for those of you who, or those of people who don't want to watch it long, me talking all this time, do you know what I'm saying? All right. One of my favorite things are rub-ons and I mean, I just, I use them for a million things um, and you can get them on clearance. Doesn't necessarily matter what the subject is. You know, like, I, I don't know. I wouldn't probably use that for anything. So this is what I usually do with them. Now, let me tell you something else. A little tip is if you do ATC cards and all, you can cut this in your three and a half by um, two and a half sizes, right? Maybe you want to put more color on the white. You don't want the white. And I'm going to put more color down, but I'm just going to give this a second to dry. But when your background's done or at this point or whatever, cut this and you have all the cards and they're kind of like in the similar vein. Um, and then you have yourself some cards. You probably get, I don't know what, one, two, three, four, five, maybe 12, 13, maybe, I don't know, something like that. But anyway, yeah, this is one sheet of paper. And again, it's getting sturdy just with the layers. So I have that. I'm going to use that. Something else to think about is, <coughs> excuse me, stickers and stickers are great, but you don't want, you see these, these are beautiful little glitter, uh, glittery holographic iridescent stickers. Okay, great, but not now, because if I put them down now, they're going to be covered um, with paint and glue and you're not going to get to see that like deliciousness that they have. Right. So just get these are just little butterflies or whatever go in the clearance section dollar store but you want to have uh now you can use these if you want if you don't mind covering them up but i like to save them till the end but now you have these these are something else the dollar store sells these the craft stores these are just little doilies they're paper so i'll use this as well stamps people send me stamps from everywhere i have the biggest collection of stamps and I love them. So, um, I don't know where this is from. I don't know if that's Polish, Polska. Um, I'm talking like Bulgaria and Germany, and these are older, and this is from Greece. And, oh God, I mean, look at all these. So, if you don't have somebody <laughs> sending you stamps, I enjoy sending you know, stamps, but, um, and I have a lot and I love them. Um, all you have to do is when you get your mail, cut them, cut them out. Doesn't matter if it's the same stamp over and over. They all have different, uh, like black stamps on them or whatever. The point is, is you're just getting a little bit more of a um, look and more dimension kind of thing. Again, I mean, I have, I don't drink, so, but cheers on court. I mean, whatever. And I'm not going for uh, a full picture. I just kind of want these everywhere. And another thing is patterns they come tissue paper you can get it at the dollar store in a million colors in one package a buck it is one of the greatest things to use i have many many videos using them i will be using it again in a video coming up but this is a pattern that i'm not going to use now and um and people send me these too but it's tissue paper so we'll use a piece of that as well so a lot of fun a lot of fun and i could go on a million things but i'm not going to because i'll do like i'll talk as i do each thing but you know so now i'm going to use a makeup sponge or a um any kind of sponge you have here's my makeup sponge and one another tip i have 
uh, for newbies and beginners. I, I forgot to dry that. So I get a lot of uses out of these because I go cut it off. The corner, this is hard too, but I could use that to my benefit. So, and then I throw this little piece away. You get like 20 in a bag at the dollar store. Fantastic. And you can see I'm very, uh, very neat. No, I'm not. I just, this is what I do. Okay. Doesn't make for great. Oh, and I spray it all over myself. Doesn't make for great, great video, but you know. Of course, you can use a brush, whatever you have. And I'm just going to go in to where some of the more white sections might be for now, because I can build on top of it. I'm not worried about it too much. Sometimes I don't have patience um, for all the layers. Sometimes I do. It depends on my mood. But what I'm doing, why I'm doing this, is I'm just getting it out here because I'm going to scrape it. And I'm going to show you a tip. Or maybe I'll use my brush. Maybe I don't know what I'll do. Who knows? Okay, so you see it's like, oh, cow, it's a lot orange on there. Now, if you're smart, you throw this in your water. If you're like me, you don't. And then it dries, and then you got to cut it again. It depends on my mood. I got a wet brush, and I'm going to go in on this top. Everywhere I kind of laid. And you can spray, but I can't find my spray bottle. I don't know what I did with it. I used it and it's not here. <laughs> I don't know. And I know nobody took it, so. Because nobody will step foot in my craft room. Because they say it gives them anxiety, so. I know nobody stole it. Okay, what did I do with my scrapey? I know I have. See, this is full. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. What did I do with it? Take your scrapey. And if you want to scrape some of it down, you can. Scrape it away. You see how it lifts up. And you get really good texture. Can you see here? I know when it's wet, the light's kind of like, yeah, no. I'll go different ways. Now, here's another little tip. I kind of dig that, but if you like it a little lighter, you're like, oh, boy, the color looks really crap on there. It's it's an orange. Since I'm doing this long, like, you know, like the full thing, I'm just going to take a second and see if I can fix that lighting because that is gross. No, that's too bright. I mean, that's a little better, but... Not that much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, thanks for hanging in there. <clears throat> I'm going to take some gesso, and you can use uh, white paint. I've just got this sitting here. And I'm going to just dot it. Not a big deal. Again, scrape it, or you can go in with whatever kind of sponge you have. You can go to your dollar store, get a sponge. And I'm going to put all these tips and everything together in a video. Uh, I might even do a video going to the dollar store and picking some like craft things out, you know, like things that I use in my mixed media. So also what I think I'm going to do is whatever papers I used on here, if I can fit into the envelope, which I'm sure I will, I'll just have to cut down uh, if they don't a little bit and I'll send those as well. So if you want to make your own or whatever, you can do so or use it for whatever you want. Okay. So you see how that white pushed that back a bit, how much it's not as bright. Okay. So now I'm going to let this dry. Everything's covered. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the color right now, but you see, I have like this little bit on here and it'll drive me nuts. So I will just add a little scrapage here and there whatever else will come off i will let this dry and we will come back and then we will move on okay okay so let's go on so you can see nice and dry it's like almost like cardboard now because we've got all these good layers and apparently i picked up i picked up some glitter somewhere and some of it's on there i don't know if you can see it yeah, a little bit. I'm not mad at it. So now we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to give you guys 
<clears throat> a couple more tips. But when you go to look for your paper, this is K and Company, which they're everywhere, K and Company. Uh, you know, at, at most of the uh, local, let me move this back, art stores. So when you go, um, even on individual papers, look for certain things. Like I told you about text or, you know, different things that you can get. So my son died and um, one thing, one thing that I see a lot of, and it's always a brown and black one, are butterflies. And so this page has a bunch of butterflies. So I'll probably, I don't know, use maybe, I think I might use this three here of these butterflies, save this for something else and maybe make these stick out. Um, but you can see, you know, this is a double side, but I mean, you can get it on a single as well. So I'm gonna cut these out and use these closer to the end, but keep that in mind when you are, you know, kind of doing things. So now you can turn your paper any way you want. Until we lay down our final piece, you know, we're just going to kind of do this. So I'm going to take this, which is this uh, rub on, and I'm just going to find, I don't exactly know what way I'm going to put this or whatever. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, but, and I like how it kind of pulls this red from it. I know it's going to be hard for you to see because of the, the long, oh my goodness, girl, I need a, uh, thing to burnish with I guess I must not have grabbed it so I'm just gonna rub give it a nice rub if I had a little thing okay here we go rub, we're just rubbing now of course you can do the whole thing you could do a piece of it it is totally up to you totally up to you on oh, my hands girl Oof. all right it's kicking the only easier way to do this is if i get my husband to come up here this is what they give you are these so i probably should take it out and use it see if it helps a little better not a big deal if you use the right tools sometimes things are easier how do you feel about that what do you know right okay oh this is a nice one it's like plastic it's not even wood oh yeah use the right tool this is just a popsicle stick i'm sure you probably if you have kids or even the dollar store they sell them it doesn't matter the color or the type you could use it for so many different things all right and I'm just going to go in and I'm like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about it all coming off. Okay. Let's lift and see. I probably rubbed way too much, right? Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So that's good. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to use everything. I think I always say that people get angry. You think oh, you either are, or you aren't. I am. I'm going to use it all on this page. Again, it's just for a little color. See, it didn't even come out all that way, but let's see. I need something down here. And my background's a little bumpy because I have edges and a little bit of texture and paint and all that kind of stuff. So just take a second to do it. There you go. Little pieces. We leave little pieces everywhere. That is my dog crying. I'm so sorry. She is, she's spoiled and she wants to go to BED and I just don't want to, <laughs> so I'm not, and she doesn't understand. Okay. So I think you get, I don't want to waste this little flower piece here, but I think you understand um, if you get these, I just wanted to kind of show you how I put them on. I just kind of go around and lay them down wherever. Cause like I said, the, the colors and the, you know, it just adds more of a, um, I don't know, more, more, more excitement. And then I'm going to use these. <sighs> I can open them again. Okay. Go pull this out. And 
Again, just go and oh, gonna take the back off because if you don't, it won't work. Now, let me tell you, this is wax paper. Don't throw this away because you can, this is nonstick. So you can work on it, things not stick and that kind of, and that's a whole other video, but you see what I'm saying. Again, don't know what way I'm going here when I'm done, what way I'll be putting on my face or whatever I'm gonna do. Come on there. <laughs> Oh my God, Cal, if you would do the right way. <laughs> oh my God. Please. I'm a highly medicated woman. I shouldn't be rubbing off stickers. <laughs> uh, I know some of you will appreciate others. You won't appreciate that. <laughs> that it just happened, but I'm going to continue. I like, I like black. I don't know. I like adding black in things. It is one of my favorite colors. If you consider it a color, I think it is. And although, you know, like I said, it's not going to definitely be, or maybe it will, I don't know what it will be at the end, but even if it's not a cup or a wine chalice or whatever it shall be, it's okay. It'll just show, see just that little bit. Mm. Laying it down, laying it down. Okay. And you can see, and if you don't have this and you want to add a little black, just go in with a pen or a uh, paint, whatever you have. It doesn't, you know, this is just, I like looking for these. I like adding some of these especially you know some of these were gifted and sent to me as random acts of kindness and you know i like using them in my art i like sharing i like doing that kind of thing i'm going to put this word cheers here even though the e's gone a little bit that little boopy in the e but i think you'll get the idea There you go. And you'll kind of know what that means. And you see how it just adds a little bit of, I don't know, it just adds something. Now, like, look, these, this is like, could be three different things. It could be this, this, and then this. So let's do it real quick. And let's do it. So I only will rub this piece, give it a quickie. Okay. Pull it off. Look at that. Babu. Now I'm going to use the, um, where the heck am I? Right here. I was like, where'd it go? We'll use it up here. I'm giving it a rub. Let's rub it. There we go. And then this. So who even knew that we could get we had three different looks with one rub? Well, actually three rubs one piece i don't know you see what i'm saying but i i think you're you're picking up what i'm putting down right here is bothering me so i'm gonna do something there let's see just a quick i don't care what comes off what doesn't there we go just to break that up okay and i won't throw this away when i do an atc background i mean there's a lot of good stuff on here and i can continue and who knows maybe later i will Okay, now I will go in and let's take some stickers just for the fun of it. If they come off, please don't be rubbies. No, they're not rubbies. Oh my God, my life. I swear, why I'm allowed to get out of bed? I got to take my glasses off. Why I'm allowed to do anything is, no, it's not. Are they just like melted on here maybe? They're not coming off. Oh, it's because I was pulling it the wrong way. Well, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add some some of these just random. Like I said, these remind me of my sun butterflies, especially the orange and black ones, which I know. I mentioned it before and somebody went, Well, they're the most common, but I'm gonna tell you a secret. Not a secret, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I have no secrets. Um 
my sister and my daughter um, see a red bird all the time. My sister will send me pictures of a red bird sitting on her fence by itself. And my sister's backyard has tons of birds. I'll have to take a video when I go over there one time because I'm, I wish Dave would let me get a bird. He won't, but, um, and it's always a red bird and she never said it really said anything to us. And the one day we were down there for dinner and it was the same day. My daughter said to me, she was going to work. They weren't even together. Emily said to me, every time I see a red bird, it's like Jared's there. Like she said, it's really weird. You know, like it, it it's weird. And Jared, my son's name. So like, so she's telling me this and everything. She goes, it's just bizarre that I always see a red bird and I've seen a red bird out backyard, out our backyard as well, but I never thought about it like that. So then my sister writes me and says, there is a red bird and sends me a picture. There's a red bird on my fence by itself. She said, this is like the fourth day in a row that it's, it just comes back. She said, well, I'm sitting out here. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? I don't know what I believe or feel. Um, I know I feel sad, but uh, I don't know. If anybody, uh, do you guys get any signs or any like anything? I mean, this isn't a video for me to talk about all this and I'm sure, but I don't know. If you guys want me to do another video talking about this kind of stuff, maybe we can do like a live stream or something where we kind of talk and share things, you know, maybe it helps bring comfort to somebody. And not just if you lose a child, but I know a lot of people are affected by losing a parent, a grandparent, um, those kind of things. So, you know, let me know down below if it's like if you would come to a live stream and maybe be open enough to talk about things like that. Because like I said, I know doing doing art isn't that, but this is why I do, you know, I do dig butterflies. So I'm just sending some love and putting some love there. Um, you know, especially because I'm going to be cut now. Let's cut this out. Now you can see they're like one, two, oh, and I'm like, I'm like, why can't I see? All right. It's my glasses and I'll have one. So I'm going to cut this in a circle. Not a circle, but, and I didn't take this white tab off. Is it not, it's not perforated. It is perforated. Oh my goodness. I'm excited because today I'm starting a new, or uh, I'm going to try a new keto recipe. And if it works out, I'm going to do a video making it again, because I have some ideas. So, all right, you see how I'm cutting this. So you can see, oh my God, Kelly, put your glasses on child. All right. So you can see three butterflies and I kind of dig the way these are. They're kind of like, you know, so it's, it stinks getting old because I can't, um, how do you say I'm near side so I can read without my glasses or anything up close, but when things are far away, I need glasses. So I'm constantly on and off, on and off. And I tried the, I don't know, they're called spectacles. What are they called when you put them on and you're supposed to like, when you look down, you can see, I don't know. They gave me massive and I suffer from migraines uh, as it is. And probably why I'm so hyper today. Cause I not hyper, but I took my Imitrex and it's starting to make me like sleepy, but I'm, I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, but it made me, oh, they made me so sick. Okay. So you can see we have this and I don't know exactly where I want them, but I do know that I want these edges a little more raggedy. So I'm going to take and move this. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to take some water on my brush and I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. I watch too much, uh, logical. Um, plus I love dabbing for Angie. Angie, I don't know if you're watching. I know you got a lot going on. I said, my love, if you are, <laughs> why do I talk louder as if she can hear me in California or wherever she's, uh, at, I don't know why she used to live in California. I think, yeah, I don't know where she's living now. If she's still in California or not, I haven't asked her. Okay. So Anyway, she has a really, her channel's Angie Lupus Life on YouTube, and she does reviews and um, all kinds of cool stuff, food, and she has like the cutest little Chihuahua Lucy. I don't know why I went on a tangent about Angie. She's been on my mind lately a lot. She got some stuff going on as well. I just feel, I don't know. I, like I said, I feel like I want to do more. Like, I feel like I want to do a live stream where we can support each other on things that like, 
you know, that maybe you can't get from other people who maybe don't understand whether it's illness, because as you know, I guys, I do uh, suffer from quite a few chronic illnesses um, and, you know, maybe discussing that and having uh, support, knowing others who, like I said, lost somebody who maybe they're having a hard time or I don't know, maybe I'm just talking out loud and I'm the only one in the world who feels this way, but sometimes it's just, I, I don't want to say lonely because I don't always like talking, but, um, sometimes, you know, I know that it, like you can feel lost. And that nobody understands. And sometimes you just need somebody to listen, I guess. And I know a lot of you out there email me a lot um, about things that you go through and things in your life and that you don't have anybody to talk to. And I, look, I don't mind at all. Sometimes I can't always write back because sometimes I get a lot um, of messages and it's just sometimes impossible. It's like answering comments sometimes because I have a lot of videos on here and you know, sometimes I, I just can't, like I'll answer like six or seven comments and they might not even be for the latest video. So it's very weird. I don't know. Um, but so I thought, oh, I wonder if we could do a live stream. Okay. So you see, I just kind of ripped it. And that's just to give it some, uh, I don't know, some shadow when I put it down. So I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I like the colors. I can darken them if I want. I can go in with a gel pen or whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to put that there. So this can be done in many ways. We can rip it. We can do whatever we want. But I'm going to decide, I think, that I am really loving this green, the greens. Okay. I don't know how well you can see them. They're the different greens. And I have here, what color are you? This is do, 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 spearmint green. Oh, I love me some spearmint. Celadon. Okay, it's darker. And my favorite, it is Granny Smith. I love this color in every brand, shade, what have you. It's like a yellow green. So I'm thinking about kind of laying some of this down. So I'm going to go light to dark. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm going to use a big brush. Um, again, you can use your sponge brush. And I'm just, I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing. And I'll start here. My brush is dry, no water, okay? And I'm just going in and I'm just gonna, I don't know, kinda, I'm not gonna take all the orange away cause I really do like that, but I wanna kinda pull back a bit. And I'm not going in for any, oh my God, Kelly. When I have 12 different projects going on, I have stuff everywhere here. All right. And I'm just excited. I'm excited to send this to somebody because to me, I'm putting my love and like everything in it and I'm touching it and I believe in that and my energy and that kind of thing. And like I said, I'm going to send some, um, uh, um, send the papers that I put, you know, and used try and think I might, this might not be the project for this. I might have to do that in another video. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to put that on there. Let's try some of this. This is again, Celadon. I'm just going to put one. I don't need to put a lot. And again, dry. I'm going to just kind of wipe it off. I'd like to wipe it off on a other piece of paper where I kind of wipe off. So I have it. Look at that. And it kind of goes with, excuse me, kind of goes with, these are my, I know you see them here, the Dilusions paints. I got a video coming up about that, um, which I, I'll talk about uh, those in it. Um, but if you've ever had Dilusions or had problem with Dilusions or what have you, uh, yeah, check it out. Like I said, it'll, it'll be coming up. What's today? Thursday it'll be this week. So maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, it depends on what I get done. Okay. Can you see, and then I'm just going to pull it over here a little bit. Oh, I love 
like it. And if I want more, I'll go back. I'm not going to worry about it. Now I'm going to brush, uh, wash my brush off because I don't want it to get, you know, muddy or gross <laughs> for a technical term. And I'm going to wipe it off. And I don't need it dry, bone dry. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to go in with my, oh my gosh, my eye, um, spearmint green. Who loves some spearmint gum? Spearmint gum. Let me show you something. Okay, can you see? Probably not. This is a butterfly here. Let's see if I, nope, I'm going to see it that way. I'm going to see it that way. All right, maybe there. Maybe there. Yeah. Okay, so we see this butterfly. What happens if I do this? And I'm not paying attention. I got my music on. I'm singing Guns N' Roses. It's no big deal. And I'm like, bruh, 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 bruh. oh no, what do I do? All you do is take your squirt bottle, which I don't have. Oh God, I gotta find it. Take a, uh, I'll use one of my little ones here. Squirt it with some water. Acrylic paint is wonderful because what happens is, kill me off. Paper towel, come on. And you wipe it. And look at that. Now over here, look. I'm going to push some of that green. Maybe I don't want that green there. Well, I did, but I'll put it back. But you see what I'm saying? And you could pull some of that color off if it's too much. And look how beautiful on the paper towel. So don't worry. Um, you can make it work. You know what I mean? If you don't make it a Tim Gunn moment. Come on. I'll just lay some of this around. I love the corners and the sides a little dark, but I like them lighter. I don't know what I like. A little bit over here to pull it. A little bit there. Okay. So I'll push it this way. I'll put this in there for the minute. And then I'm going to look and see, is there anywhere that I want to wipe off? Well, I know I want him... A little cleaned out, but I, I think I'm good. You can still see everything. So I'm going to dry it. And I don't need to have it completely dried and move on. Moving on. Okay, but let me show you it real quick. Look at, look underneath here. Look at this. And then we're moving. I'm going to talk about this. We'll talk about that. But look, look at this. Look how gorgeous. Now you can obviously see I'm kind of leaving this area blank. I don't know why. So we're going to go in with something ouch, and fix it and do something there. Um, I was going to put an odd girl here, but then I was going to do a girl's. I don't know what I'm doing yet. That's the problem. But I know what we're going to do next we are going to go in with a couple stamps you can go to your local craft store and you can find um stamp pads for a buck now they're not permanent they're not uh, waterproof let's see if i can but they're good i'm just pulling some of these up here Okay. Oh, right in front of me, Kel. And they're, like I said, I use them for mixed media, so mine are destroyed. I need to get more. They're just destroyed. And you've probably seen these colors 12 times, and you're going to be like, girl, why are you trying that color again? But I'm going to. And these are just stamps I have. I don't know exactly. I think this is a Tim Holtz one or a Ranger. I don't know. <clears throat> All I'm doing is doing this. I'm not going in for full prints. I'm just going to lay it down again. If you want a full print, by all means, full print it. I just kind of like it laying down. Lay it down. Okay. And I mean, that's really all for that one. Put that aside. Make sure, you know, use it and print it off on something so it doesn't go to waste the extra ink. And do that. Let's see about this orange one now. What I love about this, which I think I might have got this at the dollar store, I'm not sure, but uh, not the dollar store, I'm sorry, Stampendous. I think I got this 1997 from the thrift store or 
on clearance at one of the craft stores. This is an oldie, but a goodie. And what it's supposed to do is this look, right? Where you get all the different textures. I obviously love the stamp and I use it in a different ways. So I'll go in and I'll push it, push it real good. Oh my gosh. And I will stamp and you can barely see it, but that's okay. I will push it real good. Come on, salt and pepper. And I'll hold it up one more time so you can see it. And don't worry if you overstamp, we'll fix it. And then go to another one if you want. My desk, you can see here how hard I'm stamping. It's how I hold my pencils very hard because my hands. Okay. I think you're getting it. All right. So we have that. Now. Let's see if my yellow is going to work. My yellow might have to wait till last because it's lighter and I'll probably end up using it, but we are covering it. But do you see how we have that in there? It's still a little bit wet. So what I like to do, look at that. What I, what I like to do is destroy it because why keep anything nice? I have my brush that's wet. I'll go in and kind of distort it a little bit. You don't have to, but on certain parts, I'll just kind of pull it down and just kind of play with it a little bit. Maybe I didn't really want it there like that, or um, maybe like down here, I got two of them, which it's hard to see. There, yeah, it's better. Um, and I'm like, oh, why did I put them there? So I can go and kind of, I'll still have that red tinge of the ink, but, so you can go and do all that kind of stuff and touch it up. Yeah, maybe right here. You can even add a little bit of uh, white paint to it if you want. Okay, I'm gonna dry it real quick. Yeah, make sure my ink's dry. I love the green in it. And do you see, when I put the stamps on top, it kind of like pushed that green back where before the green was like, oh, okay. The green's like, Hey, I'm here. Now it's kind of like I'm dancing in the corner, you know, or I took a urine break, you know, okay. so I'm digging that. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do as far as, what do I want to do? Do I want to do a face? Do I want to do a big face? That's what I'm feeling. Oh goodness. So I'm going to take some gesso and I'm going in. I'm going to draw with it. I know that Kind of gonna have a neck here, and and it's gesso. So if it's yucky, then what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll just have to go over it with color. Not too round, but that's okay because there's hair, so I can draw over it. So I'm gonna go in now. I want she needs a bigger neck. I want um, some of this inside to come through. Like I don't necessarily want it. Now I'm going to wet my brush the littlest bit because I want it more translucent, the gesso, so I can still see what's underneath. Goodbye, butterfly. See what I mean? Like you, you just don't be upset or afraid to change your mind because it happens. And it still might peek through. We'll just work on this one and this one. There. There we go. So there's my two special little, that'll be covered with hair. Who knows what this will be covered with, but you know. All right, so. Okay. Yeah, all right. 
and like I said, this is going to be too, if I, if it's really bothering me too much or bothering you and it could bother me because, you know, I can go in with a wet, clean brush and kind of erase it right here because it's way too thick. And over here, it's like too round. I have a very round face. So when I, <clears throat> normally when I try to, when I draw, I try to, um, look, see, see, it just wipes off my light. This man. We're a weirdo. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. Um, the sun behind me in my window and out in front of me, like if it goes down or it gets brighter, depending on the time of day, obviously, um, depends on how my light works. So it'll work real good in the morning. And then there we go. So you see how you can erase that and make it even more. I'm going to try to stay pretty, like not pretty, but like, um, I'll tell you what. So if I go down, if I come up here and go here, I don't want my eyes here. Um, I'm going to try to keep it light and beautiful. I think I'm going to take this off as much of it as I can for now. But you know what I'm going to do? I just decided. So I just showed you how to do this. I'm going to stop. This is going to be the end of the video. Um, because if you're doing this with me or want to do this with me, I don't want you to, <clears throat> to be stuck. If you want to do a background, stuck watching me do this or get overwhelmed, which can happen. So I will probably finish this and do a um, speed through maybe. Or maybe I'll just do it and talk and put it up separately to you know if you want to watch it you can uh yeah and then you know it's not that much that overwhelming because i mean you know it's like uh cooking for me i love to cook but learning new recipes i have to like do it step by step because if i get overwhelmed i'm like i can't i can't do it anymore so yeah so as far as that the background's done um now we're going to add on top and then in the next video what i'll do is I'll do the face and then all the touch, the other touches I do by adding like some stamps and this and that and some embellishments and then she'll be done. And then we'll figure out uh, whether we'll do a contest, any suggestions, let me know down below. Or if I just pick a name, I don't know. We'll see who I send it out to. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Let me know, like I said, if you guys want to do some uh, live hangouts or what have you. Uh, yeah, so we can talk and have some fun. Keep an eye out for the Dilution Paint video and keep an eye out for the last part of this. Love you guys. Please share me everywhere. And if you just found me and you want to be subscribed, I would love it. Please click the subscribe button down below, the little bell next to it, and you'll be updated when I uh, upload. I love to do all kinds of stuff on my channel. I don't even know where to put me in at, but mixed media artist is what I, I love to do. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.